Hey guys, how's it going? It's Jewel Tolentino here. So in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to use the visual properties on Camtasia Studio. And the visual properties, basically it's how to add animation to whatever you're editing. So I'm going to show you an example of how I use the visual properties to add animations to pictures in my videos, and then I'll show you how to do it. So this is a video that I created for an Amazon course that I'm creating for Canadians, and you'll see the animations pop up on screen. Hey guys, all right, so in this video, I'm gonna be talking about what you'll need to get started with Amazon FBA in Canada using the scanning method. So the first thing that you'll need is a computer. You'll preferably want to have your own computer, your own access to a computer, because if you're sharing one and it's not your own, it's gonna make things a little bit difficult because when you buy products, you need to get on the computer right away, input your products, you know, uh, go over your dashboard, and you'll just need to be on the Amazon seller dashboard a lot. So it's best if you have your own computer. It can work if you're sharing with someone else, but it's just going to make it a lot easier if you've got your own. All right, so this. All right, so you saw how that old old computer just slid in there and then it slid back out. That is done by the visual properties. So I'm going to show you guys how to add animation to pictures. So when you are in Camtasia Studio, you want to import your picture. And it has a better effect when you choose a picture with a transparent background so that it uh, just has a better visual effect on your on the actual editing. So I'll just show you right now what I mean. So if I had this picture and it had like a white or a different color background around it, it wouldn't it wouldn't look like just the computer, right? It would look like a, a block with the computer in it. So I specifically found a picture that had a transparent background and it looks much cooler when you're editing. Just something to think about. So now that I've dragged the picture onto the timeline, before I add animation, I want to make it just a little bit bigger. And all right, so a lot of people get confused with this because they think that you want to start off with where you want it to be. And that is kind of confusing, but I'll let you know what I mean in just a second. So I want this to end up in the middle of the screen, but you actually can't start there. You've got to start off screen if you want it to come from off screen. So I'll show you what I mean. I'm going to take this picture and I'm going to drag it off the screen right now. And then, so you position your cursor when you'd like the animation to start. So I'm going to just do it right there. Click on visual properties. Then you click add animation. From here, you want to move your picture to create the animation. So I wanted it to slide right across and go in the middle. So that's what's going to happen. So let's now play it. There you go. So you see how it just slid back in there? All right. So let's say I want it to go a different direction. We'll just play around with this. So let's say I want it to go up in this corner. Again, I would make sure that the picture is highlighted. Click animation. Then drag it to where I'd like it to go. Let's say up in this corner. And we'll just play that. There we go. All right, so let's say now I want it to move off the screen. So I want it to move off the screen over here. So I'm going to click Add Animation. And I'm going to drag it off the screen. And then we'll do a couple more just for fun. And then we'll just zoom past. And then I want it to come over here in this corner. So I'm going to add animation, move it to the corner. And then for the final, we'll go back to the middle. So I will click add animation again. And then we'll go back to the middle. All right, so let's see our animation that we just created. All right, here we go. There you 
The time gaps are a little long, but you know what I mean. Alright, so you can see that it just went all over the place. We created a bunch of animations. So besides doing that, what you can also do is you can choose to lengthen this or shorten this. So if you make it really short, it'll go really fast. And if you make it long, it will extend the amount of time it will take to get there. So here's what that looks like. So you see how slowly it's going? It's because I extended it very long. And then if I go back and make it short, it's going to go really fast. So you see, it went much faster than before. And you know what, if you, if you decide that you don't like this animation, you can just make sure it's highlighted yellow and click delete. You can also double click on it and you can play around with rotation. You can make it do some crazy stuff. So let's say we want it, okay, let's say we want it to rotate and go upside down. So let's move the cursor, add animation, and let's say we want it to go over here, but upside down. Alright, let's see what that looks like. Whoa, crazy, eh? So there's some really cool stuff that you can do with the visual properties. I mean, play around with it. You can get really creative and do some really neat stuff. So that is how to use the visual properties tab in Camtasia Studio. Thank you guys so much for watching. If I've provided you with any value, please let me know by giving us a like, a comment, a subscribe. All that would be very much appreciated. And if you like these types of videos, you can check out in the description below. Every Wednesdays, I do Video Studio Wednesdays, so you can find out more videos like this in the playlist below. Alright guys, well thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.